In the wake of the pandemic, more people than ever are shopping for new furniture. With so many people spending more time at home, furniture sales are at a record high. But as Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us, waiting for your furniture to be delivered is taking more time than ever. Amidst a year of lows, furniture is in high demand. Everybody, if, they, if they're not building or moving, they're redoing their homes. And Deb Ball is one of them. She's redoing her Lakeville home. She found new furnishings here at Schneiderman's. And according to the manager, she's in good company. Have you ever seen anything like this in the furniture business? Nothing. Nothing. The demand for furniture has been unbelievable. Um, people are not going anywhere. And so they want to, they're using their, their disposable income to update their living, you know, their living quarters and even the backyards. Whether it's couches or work tables or a new bed set, furniture is going quickly, but it's coming slowly. During COVID, they've had shipping delays at ports, fewer workers to transport, and then bad weather in Texas hit refineries and made for the perfect storm. There's a foam shortage. So that's, uh, that's impacting furniture across the board, you know, foam cushions for sofas and foam for, for bedding. So now that's impacting supply. That means customers have to wait three to six months for furniture deliveries and sometimes longer, and the stores have no control. We can't promise dates. Uh, we just have to give estimated dates and make sure that we update them as often as we can. Her advice? Oh, have patience. I'm just one of those that have patience, and I know it's not their fault. I'm going to finally kick my feet up one day. That's right. I am. In Lakeville, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. If you need furniture sooner rather than later, one way to get it faster is to buy a floor model as is or a clearance room piece.